ever watched a movie where maybe the main characters go to the movie theaters and as you see them walking through the corridors, you see a bunch of fake movie posters that sometimes have famous celebrities on them. When I heard about Fly Me to the Moon, I low-key thought that was one of those. And then it turned out to be a real movie that now I have seen... And I got some thoughts. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, we're going to be discussing Fly Me to the Moon. It's very hard to say that title without singing it. But this is about marketing mastermind Kelly Jones, who wrecks havoc on a launch director, Cole Davis's already difficult task. When the White House deems the mission too important to fail, Jones is directed to stage the fake moon landing as a backup. Now, this is directed by Greg Berlanti, who has done great things like Love, Simon but also made the entire Arrowverse on CW. Also stars the likes of Scarlett Johansson, Channing Tatum, Woody Harrelson, and many, many more, such as like even Ray Romano likes to pop up in here. So I didn't really know what to think about this movie. I saw the poster, and I, I like I said, I thought it was fake. I never watched the trailer. And then the screening invite came in for this, and I said, oh, this is actually a movie. And now I've seen the film, and I thought it was decent. I thought it was fine. I think it's a good little date night movie. I, w I wouldn't say this is, like, the thing that blew my mind, nor would I say, like, it's one of the worst pieces of trash ever. It's a typical romantic comedy with all surrounding NASA, the moon landing, and maybe tries to get a little bit too serious, but we'll talk about that more in my mixed aspects. Overall, I think it's enjoyable, and I think if you've seen the trailer and you enjoyed what you liked about the trailer, then you'll probably walk out of this being like, yep, that's exactly what was sold to me. If you like Channing Tatum or Scarlett Johansson, you'll probably enjoy this movie for the most part, but I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section, so make sure to leave your thoughts down there, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's dive into my pros! So, number one thing, Scarlett Johansson is so charming in this. I instantly love her in these type of fast-talking, witty roles, and I think in this, she's just great. She's an easy star to follow. I love her in everything she does, and I think this is a fun little role for her to take. It's not too serious, it's not too dramatic, but it is quite fun. Same thing goes for Channing Tatum, who I think is kind of an asshole through a lot of this movie, which I like understand why he's being an asshole, but I thought he was great. Um, love him in these roles, love when we get to see him in movies, and I think the rest of the cast is fun. Woody Harrelson's nice, Ray Romano's great, Jim Rash is really fun for the small role that he has, and again, the list goes on and on from there of the fun cast members here. But I think the way that this movie's marketed is it's a romantic comedy surrounding a potential fake moon landing, but as well as getting the astronauts to the moon. And it this movie has a lot to deal with. It has a lot to do as well as playing around with history and also, again, playing on the conspiracy theory that the moon landing was fake. Wherever you're siding on that, that's okay. But the film plays on those aspects while at the same time trying to deliver a romantic comedy in here. And... I think for the most part, the film is good in all three of those categories, but just good to fine, which is it's fine and dandy and entertaining and telling us the history. And then, OK, it wants to play around with that and give us this fake moon landing. OK, that's cool. And then it has this romantic comedy element that is the comedy aspect, I think, really works. The romantic element, it's cheesy. Don't get me wrong. And I like cheese. But I didn't like all the cheese in here. I actually wouldn't have minded if they were just platonic. Genuinely platonic. I think it actually would have worked. But since they are two of the hottest actors in Hollywood, y you have to make them kiss, right? Sorry, just had to, just had to get that out of the way. Um, overall, they have decent chemistry. I, I, I can put that out there at least. Film that you're going to remember in a couple months. This is the film that you'll be like, oh, that, that was sweet. That was enjoyable. And Greg Berlanti, I think, did a really good job with Love, Simon in the same category and kind of bites off a little bit too much in this one. But I think, again, does a really good job in executing entertainment and also making us care about the situation. And overall, while the film does get a little bit dramatic at times, I liked 
what it was trying to tell and play around with the history of it all. I was able to take my wife to the screening. I looked at her. She was laughing. I was smiling. I was laughing. And we were just having a good old time. And again, when it comes down to date night movies, this is one of those casual ones that any couple could go and see. And they'll be like, yeah, that was fun. Just like if you're watching a movie and see your main characters go to the movies, this is probably the movie they were going to watch. A lot of it seems superficial and fake, but at the same point in time, like I can see the reasonings for making the movie. And I think there is a lot of fun to be had for sure. But I do have a lot of issues with this movie. As fun as it, I think it can be at times, I think the movie is way too long. Like, overly long. It's two hours and 12 minutes, and I will tell you right now, there was about at least 30 minutes of this movie that could have been cut out. Um, maybe 20, maybe I'm going aggressively too much, but the film definitely drags. There was a point in time where I looked at the clock and I said, there is no fucking way that there's 50 minutes left of this film. 50 minutes, like definitely starts to fly by a little bit faster, but I think the film spends too much time actually building up to the premise. than it's actually execution of the premise and how this works. The film has again, three different storylines that it's trying to tell. And I think overall one of them really works. One of them almost works all the way. And then one of them should have just stayed platonic instead of romantic all the way. And I never thought they weaved all the storylines classically together. Again, I understand that this isn't supposed to be some high end art and stuff, but in the temps that we've seen of so many different moon landings and all those sorts of stuff around Neil Armstrong, this is one of the more weaker approaches, and it's one of the things that just kind of made me keep comparing to other films that I've watched before with those elements. Well, again, I have never seen a movie where it actually talks about, like, the moon landing was a fake, and it's playing off on the hoax and having fun with that whole filmmaking element. I thought that was fun to have. But again, it never goes too far with it. Like, I wish they would have extended that a little bit more. And as well, if they wanted to do the romantic element and not make them plutonic, they should have built them up just a bit more in my opinion like they're really back and forth and a lot of that comes from Channing Tatum's character not his performance but really much his character it might seem like I'm rambling on but that's kind of how the film felt like it's was trying to be was it just kept rambling on with different character interactions different character relationships and different elements but I look back and I had fun I had fun watching this. This is a very simple and mindless romantic comedy that you can enjoy. And maybe again, it tries to go a little bit deeper than it actually should be. But if you're just looking for a fun movie to go and see for $5 on a Tuesday, on discount Tuesdays that a lot of theaters do, then I would say go see this. I don't mean, need to rush out and see this movie. But if you ask me like, hey, Zach, like I just want a nice little date movie. I would probably say, yeah, this is a safe one to watch, especially if like your wife or girlfriend or significant other is very, I don't know, very picky. My wife can be at times like sometimes she doesn't want to watch any of that high end stuff or have to think about anything. It's very mindless. And it's very simple. and It's very fun. And yeah, I, I guess I had fun with Fly Me to the Moon. <laughs> sometimes for the worst reasons, though. All that said, I'm going to give Fly Me to the Moon a C. I feel like I was a lot more negative in this review than I like actually wanted to come off as, but trust me, I like the movie. It was just very simple. And that's okay. Sometimes we just need a simple movie. So again, thank you so much again for watching this. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below your guys' thoughts. And of course, until next time, stay classy.